Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to explain the project uh, marketing research about my company, Spatial Vision. Uh, so to commence with, Spatial Vision was founded in 1999 to work alongside the like-minded organizations and government departments. Um, my company has elaborates geo studies in their spatial, social and environment ch environmental ch challenges. Um, the company is guided by their passions and curiosity for what is possible for the geospatial industry and information technology. Also, we try to adapt technologies to, to provide the effective uh, the effective way to develop um, like intelligent artificial intelligence studies for logistics agriculture um, for all related with climate change the customer segmentation um, we define uh, a problem one of the is the customer segmentation so the business is embracing the engineering construction sector. Those sectors allocate visual world scenarios into the engineering design. So those sectors automate process to improve efficiency. And they provide to end users that enjoy the last product that will be the government, citizens and business, bringing a positive social economic impact in the society at large. However, one of the biggest problems is the price to conduct these studies because we require an advanced technology and remote senses and a software license that they are not so cheap. But in the long term, that represents um, a quite good um, improvement for the processes of the companies that we are offer our services. Um, the other research need is the market trends. So the accumulative geospatial industry is valued at an estimated 439 billion US dollars. So in the next two years, even with the pandemic situation, it's going to grow 40%. So this is taken from a research in the United States based um, on different countries studies in developing nations and developed uh, nation requirements that they already have all the infrastructure but they want to expand to the developing nations. Uh, this growth is due to the continuous technology advancements in the industry. The, um, improvement in the infrastructure um, the devices that every time are cheaper and, and yes the access to to this technology is much easier every time so that includes advanced digital technologies and this progress is resulting in innovative business models Another uh, need is the lost in business. So as we know, because of the pandemic of COVID-19, there is an uncertain moment. And that has reduced the projects um, due to the lack of structural and governmental projects that they decided just to stop because they, we are in uncertain moment. So we need to rethink about what's going to happen after this pandemic and how the market it's going to grow with the new ideas after this this big change and the other research need is a brand awareness so the technology landscape is evolving with new and innovative products which the companies must be aware to offer the latest advance advancements so, for example, if we get a license from a software, we need to keep updated because it may be in four or five years they're going to change, they're going to upgrade the license. So, it could be that the software, we have another update software or we have another company 
another software is company more efficient so we have to keep moving in our aim to to give the best the best service for the customer and so the market research will focus on the capacity of our competitors to distribute the last devices if our competitors are are looking for getting a software we have to be on the top so we have to acquire we have to uh, train our, our employees well so now the research objectives are identify the suitable brand and portfolio to attract diverse sectors explore customers perceptions towards GIS spatial analysis and scanning technologies that can replace the current service and assess the different channels of distribution of information including online and offline as we know that remote senses mm -hmm. uh, technology we can adapt and give the, all the data and all the information online as well as offline all the physical studies we can provide results on offline as well so the methodology of the data collection for this research so our team will collect the insights we're gonna hire first a consultant agency who's gonna support who's gonna um, align with our objectives and they're gonna collect the insights and categorize taking in mind the current publicity available about the company um, the, um, the future outcomes and this will provide the data points for their specific technology inclination and understand the different market segments of overall components industry are interested parts so what the researcher is doing he's going to examine the our competitors and, and the market strategies in the future and similarly it will be provide estimation of the value in US special technology on the overall worldwide economy um, so for this quantitative analysis we have elaborated three questions um, which are do you think smart decisions in our company require you special data so if the customer um, have a necessity to to have these these uh, your special studies and the other question is do you consider there will be an impact in the future industry due to COVID-19 so the companies will be have enough funds to invest in our technologies in our studies or they prefer in an old-fashioned way to keep the studies because they won't have maybe in the future enough funds um, to require these, these studies and the next question is do you think GIS technologies are expensive and unaffordable for small, com small companies as we say that's for small companies it's very difficult because this is not a cheap technology so it will be unaffordable for them or maybe in a long term they can invest um, a certain amount of money to to bring uh, more more efficient uh, processes the quality quality type analysis uh, so to fo focus groups are conducted with representatives between the ages of uh, 30 and 40 years old and 40 and 50 separate groups as well as professions Responders are generally agree with the necessity of to special study of the companies. They have to 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 agree that. And the questions I'm gonna read because there are seven questions. I'm gonna read just the three most important. So one of those is uh, what sectors do you consider need urgently to adopt GIS technologies? are going to be the industries that we're going to approach more what are the barriers to enable GIS studies in any organization if the knowledge to read the results or 
the access to technology or the infrastructure of the company that require our services. So there are many many needs from the from the from our clients that we need to to this right now. So um, all right, this is our our questionnaire. Another question will be related with how much do you spend annually in geo solutions? So it's categorized less than a thousand dollars, between thousand and three thousand dollars, or more than three thousand dollars. And yeah, the the whole questionnaire is ten questions. And now when our survey is done. We all right. We we already received the results of the survey actually. So we elaborate a work plan. So a special vision company will accomplish preliminary work on the initial two weeks to employ an older expert and examine what they need and information research. That's the work plan. After examining, we will make the research plan and start our surveys. Surveys that I highlighted um, in the previous slide with the with the questionnaire. And we will post on the social side and our organization side make an advancement on the fifth week because that that project the course is on ten weeks. On the fifth week, we gather surveys and do some irregular interviews to comprehend our customers, what they expect only, yeah, what they expect. And finally, we'll, we'll discuss with our teams from the research surveys and interviews to make a data analysis and get a final report and give our presentation to our team members. Once receive all the results of the survey, um, so it comes the analysis of the data. So the analysis company comments through the analysis of the history of the industry and process evolutions. Once recognized an objective, the survey will start with the elaboration of research questions, taking into consideration the global or regional market capacity. We have in one of the questions and to identify the necessities of the of the big cities and regional areas and those have different approaches so we have to divide and integrate in the best way as well to 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 provide a, a great and enriched portfolio so in in the regional and big cities we're going to analyze the market structure, market segmentation, competitive situation, market trends and other detailed analysis. And indeed to understand the stage and characteristic of the industry, the questions that uh, we were surveyed are based on identifying the main factors that affect the development of industry, predict the future development trend of the industry, determine the industry investment value, and reveal the possible technological adaptation that we have to do with these data results. So, once we got the results, so we're gonna read the findings that we found. So the GIS application is on the rise, attracting new users and new areas from various economic sectors who like to adapt those technologies or who like to get our services. And also relaxing gains from the integration of analytical studies in their planning urban areas and small regional areas. So another finding is the issues identified with more relevance is effective integration of GIS technology to traditional methods. So in the transition between the traditional methods merging to the technologies, we find a, a lot of issues for those customer, customers, so we have to work on that. And nowadays, various sectors across the world are, are adopting GIS technology to facilitate project plans and designs. GIS is seen 
every year as an important tool for electronic distribution and mapping initiatives. Um, every time more sectors need to map initiatives, uh, whether indoor or, not, or outdoor, so that at the transparent and efficient service deliveries, uh, especially in logistics, um, mapping services could be very useful to, to for example, allocate uh, different products and keep in mind all the big data and, and all numbers of, of products that that company uh, are storage. And the last finding is the big data or data and cloud will contribute enormously to the geospatial industry as the company is highly informed with these results in customers more interested in having artificial intelligence plat platforms implemented in their studies. So big data and cloud are one of the first requirements that we need to implement in order to provide the, in the best possible way the data management to our clients and it's what, what the, our customers are most interested are the most interested and yes to finalize the special special vision is focusing on different sectors as they are reliable and trustworthy and they want to obtain our services to sustain and build competencies. Now the now our challenge is to build the best way to deliver our services to the and develop complex uh, capabilities to be understandable into delivering a nourishing experience and achieve the challenges in economics on a scale. Uh, as we remember that we we are also focus focus on 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 developing nations, um, and mapping is considered one of the our strengths after the survey, and in the coming years is expected to grow faster. However, the perception of few customers is the advent of new technologies and disruptive paradigms. Paradigms has altered the delivery of this technology. So they prefer the traditional way because it's, it's much cheaper. Um, at certain point, it can give a very straight results. This data sometimes is so difficult to read, so difficult to analyze, so requires a, a, compre um, a person that can read the results in a very comprehensive way. And so we will work to draw as a company the meaningful and actionable insights for enhanced efficiencies and better customer experience to make deliverables much easier to understand in order to, to fill that request. Um, yes, the um, the OHS requirements is based on the um, Safety Regulations 2007 and uh, Safety Act 2004. Uh, that is the foundation of authoritative and regular, regulatory measures to improve occupational health and safety in Australia during our survey. So we took in mind that requirements to provide a good uh, environment and secure environment during this research plan so right that's my presentation thank you so much